Welcome to Rag Rugs by Erin. Um, in this episode, we're going to be talking about the lost art of braid and rugs. This is part two. In part one, I just did a brief overview. And in this part, we're going to actually show you how to get one started so you can take on this project. Um, this braid and rug was lost at Lost Art um, probably around uh, the end of World War II. This is made with t shirt material. Here's an example of one started and how it's braided in. Okay, you see how it's attached? Okay, now we're going to just put this to the side. One, two, three, four, and it's worked in. We don't just braid it independently. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side and then I'm going to get one started for you so you can start one yourself. Again, we're going to talk about uh, our tools. We always talk about our tools. At the beginning, you will need a sewing machine or you could hand stitch, um, but just in two locations, we need the sewing machine at the very beginning. So um, don't get all hung up with the sewing machine. You could do it by hand and sew them together. But you do need a good pair of scissors, as always. And you are either going to need safety pins. They can be smaller than this. This happened to be what I have. Or you can use tapestry needles or yarn needles. See how there's a nice wide, put it down maybe on the dark, nice wide opening and the blunt end, it's just barely sharp, it's not real pointed. Um, avoid the yarn needles that are plastic because they tend to break. So those are the tools that you will need. And then of course you're going to need t-shirts. I'm just quickly showing you these are t-shirts and I have cut off the bottoms of t-shirts. I have picked four different colors. Um, you will need four different colors and I've cut off some things already so you can do that yourself and trim off um, one inch. Some videos might show you on different types of braided rugs to um, use up to two inches and that's really your preference. I tend to uh, do a little smaller. So mine are an inch or a little bit wider. So here we have the four colors. These are more jerseys than t-shirts on these particular two because um, I like the different colors and it's harder to find t-shirts in different colors so I use some jersey material as well. This black is a t-shirt and this blue. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pick these three colors to start off with. You're going to braid this one in after but you're going to start with three of them. Okay. You're going to take them and put them one on top of the other and this is the one place where you're going to use a little sewing. You're going to put it underneath your sewing foot. Let's see, am I going forward or I'm going forward? Okay, I don't have sewn in a while on this machine. This is probably should have did a test run and I didn't. My old ancient machine, do a little back stitch. I have 12 machines and here you see me using my ancient machine that I love so much. So here we're going to sew it together. Some people might use a zigzag. I just use a straight stitch because that's all this little girl can do. Alright, so there we go. Look how simple that was. So you can see that you could have hand sewn that and it just wouldn't have been as quick. I just happen to have a sewing machine and so this is what I did. So this is the first thing you need to do. You've got three of the colors together. It is easier if you have someone hold this for you to get started. Okay, then you're just going to um, braid it. So you're going to just, like you would anything else, just start off and make a braid under over. I don't think I need to teach you how to braid. And just braid it. Okay, we're going to do about a foot long or maybe a little more. Okay, so you can see I'm braiding it. We're going to go ahead and uh, let him get a look. See, I've started it. If you like a fatter one, you could do the two inch and do the fatter one. This is how you start. Okay, we're going to pause right here and come back when I get to the end where we're going to add on the fourth one and show you how to do that. Okay, thank you. 